And if you're looking to buy a car online, there's a growing scam you should be aware of so you don't get taken for a ride. Yeah, the people in charge of vehicle registrations and licenses are trying to spread the word so fewer people end up with a stolen car that puts you out thousands of dollars. T311's Brooke Buckner shows us how this all works. We often hear the saying, if it seems too good to be true, it probably is. Well, Scott Harden with the DFA says that's something Arkansans need to remember as an online car scam is growing. We've been aware of it for about a year, but we put a warning out because it's really been picking up over the last month or two. Here's how it works. Harden says scammers are selling stolen vehicles on websites like Facebook and Craigslist at a price much lower than the actual value of the car and strictly asking for cash. This is something we are seeing taking place a lot, and unfortunately, Arkansans are losing a lot of money. The person behind the scam replaces the stolen car's VIN number with one from a similar model found online. So when people research the car's history, they can't tell it's stolen. Unfortunately, you know, you find out eventually that this car is stolen, that it was a fake VIN, and you're out all that money. There just, there aren't any options at that point. Hardin says it's mostly happening with newer model pickup trucks, and his office has seen about 50 of those cases. This has used car dealers like Rashawn Wilbert on high alert. That's why he triple checks every vehicle's VIN number before adding it to his inventory. So what we do is we hook a scanner OBD tool, tool in because the VIN is stored at least on 30 or 40 different modules on the car. And so that's hard to, you know, duplicate. He and Harden encourage you to get a second opinion before handing over thousands of dollars. One, use caution, and two, um, if it's being sold cash only for 30, 40, 50 percent less than it is elsewhere, there's a reason for that. And think twice before paying all cash. That's a big red flag. Brooke Buckner, THV 11 News. Now, once someone falls for the scam and learns the car they just bought is stolen, the car then gets turned over to the actual owner or their insurance company.